Courtney Shockley. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Emory. And I'm Krista Childress. I am an assistant professor in gynecology obstetrics at Emory University, and I specialize in pediatric and adolescent gynecology. So we both did two-year fellowships after our OBGYN residency. I did two years in gynecologic surgery, um, and we mostly focused on robotics, laparoscopy, and hysteroscopy. So it's very specialized in niche training. I didn't do any OB during that time. Um, we like to say we do big surgeries through really small incisions. So I also did a two-year pediatric analyst and gynecology fellowship. We our training spans birth until 21, and it covers a spectrum of general pediatric and adolescent gynecology, basic ovarian masses, abnormal uterine bleeding, contraceptive counseling, as well as congenital reconstructive surgeries that we work closely with pediatrics and urology. I don't think the layperson is very aware of different subspecialties within gynecology. I think the larger spectrum subspecialties, such as gynecologic oncology, maybe urogynecology, but I think the smaller fields, such as ours, family planning, menopause medicine, I don't think anyone has any idea that these exist unless they know people who are in medicine or do this. I have a lot of patients who have, who have come to me by one route or another who didn't know that they could have their fibroids removed without a big 10 to 12 centimeter incision. Um, and so I think we need to give patients permission to say, I'm going to get another opinion, or is there a way to do this where I'm only out of work for two weeks instead of six? I think one of the things that, that I bring in terms of a minimally invasive approach is I'm, it's not just doing the surgery. Technically, a lot of GYN surgeons have really good technical training, um, but the preoperative counseling and the postoperative care, my goal is to really have most of my patients go home the same day. We're totally flipping the idea of you get a hysterectomy and you stay in the hospital for three days and you don't move. You know, we're saying you're going to walk out of the hospital this afternoon. I think almost all surgery can be achieved in this route um, with subspecialty training and with good preoperative planning. And I think our patients really love too that we do focus on a specific area of expertise. I think I get really excited when my patients and the families walk into the room and they're like, "There's, you're finally here, they're finally <laughs> yes. a pediatric gynecologist because yes. they too are still children so they don't feel comfortable going to the adult gynecologist. There's always beautiful colors in the clinic and toys and things like that. So it's just a very comforting thing to patients and families I think to have both our specific specialties. Our patient population is so diverse. I have patients from all over the world, I know you do too, um, and it keeps us learning, it keeps us reading, it keeps us growing. I think one of my favorite parts of my practice is that I'm in two locations with totally different patient populations and expectations, and I get, I get to learn and care for a really broad variety of women. Yeah. I think I always say I learn something new every day. Absolutely. Either what my patients taught me or a new diagnosis or even what my residents have taught me. Uh -huh. So it's, that's why academic medicine is so fun. We're surrounded by doctors that are teaching us yeah, too. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> it's great.